Many years ago, we were celebrating a beautiful flower festival in our temple. Many guests had come from different parts of the world. A gentleman had come to the temple for the first time. He was from South India and uh, he was used to visiting temples and celebrating various kinds of festivals. This was a different kind of festival he saw where we were plucking the flower petals and those petals were going to be offered to the deities. And uh, practically everybody who was sitting across in the morning plucking those flowers saw something significant that although people were coming from different diverse backgrounds of education, of country, of ethnicity, but still there was something in common. Each one was completely invested in trying to give their devotional energy into those flower petals. And at one level, everybody was actually one in spirit because we were all there to use those flowers in the service of the Supreme Lord as a gratitude to him for what he is giving us. So this gentleman was asking me, what are we going to do with all these petals? And I said, wait till the evening. So in the evening, when the festival began and the flower showers began on the deities, he was sitting right there next to me, right in front. And we were seeing this beautiful shower of flowers. And after the flowers were showered on the deities, they were showered on the devotees. And when the flowers started being showered in the temple, this gentleman got bewildered because he had never seen so many flowers being showered. And then when the flowers fell down, the devotees started taking the flowers in their hand and started hitting each other with great love and affection. And it was such a fantastic, amazing scene. But it was a total shock for him because he had not expected anything like that. And then suddenly a bunch of flowers came and hit him on his face took him by surprise. He looked around to see if anybody is watching him or not. And when he thought that nobody is watching him, everybody is busy in their own play, he picked up a bunch of flowers and he started hitting others and enjoying that game. And in this way, he experienced the great love, affection and reciprocation in the association of devotees, in glorification of the Supreme Lord. Next day in the morning, I had the shock of my life when I saw him. He had beads in his hand, he was chanting the Lord's names and he was actually practicing meditation. And I asked him, hey, what happened? Yesterday I thought you had lots of questions about this event. He said, I don't know what happened, but when those flowers hit me, something triggered within me and I'm just electrified and energized. The question arises, when we go to the temples, why do we offer flowers? Those flowers represent the feelings of our heart and we are actually expressing our gratitude to the Lord who is giving us every possible item we can imagine in life. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that you offer me leaf, flower, fruit or water with love, I accept it. So the love in our heart is the main ingredient which we are trying to offer. And while making the offering, the flower becomes a very attractive, convenient and favorable medium. And therefore the flowers are used in offering our love, affection and gratitude to the Lord. And therefore you will find flower garlands in temples, offerings of flowers in various forms of worship in the temple, because ultimately we want to reciprocate with the Lord's love and the flowers become a medium for transmission of that love.